Okay, so I've had to upload this separately because that other video was ridiculously long, but you knew this was coming, right? I mean, who could hear that and then not make a response video about it for the internet? Not me, surely. I'm <laughs> Beatrice. Oh my god. <laughs> and just to clarify, I told Ursula and Hero not to watch this. Um, I told Hero that it was about her birthday present, and I told Ursula that it contained really, really, really shaky camera angles, so... Hopefully they won't watch this. I mean, I know that I have to make sure they don't watch two videos in a row, but whatever, I trust them. Which obviously I shouldn't, because what did they say before? What? Who knew that could come out of such sweet and shy faces? Proud? Stubborn? Me? What? No? That's just mean. And I'm sorry, Ben likes me? What's up with that? He has a really weird way of showing that. What are you, five? Get over yourself. God, so immature. I don't even like relationships. I don't like relationships. What's happening? Everything's weird and I want it to stop. Oh. It's not like everyone is bad out there. There are people that I get on with. <laughs> I don't crush people. That's wrong. I crush people when they're wrong. I'm always right, but they're not always right. I don't... Everyone has something wrong with them, right? So I mean you can always find a flaw in someone. I don't go out that sh I don't go out there and purposely pick negative traits from people, but everyone has them. So sometimes they're just easy to find, especially in some people more than others, it's easier to focus on the negative stuff. So there. I guess I'm I guess I'm picky, but I mean Hero's picky. She picked Claudio. So there. I, pick it. It's just a, some you ha huh. Sometimes you like people more than other people, and so you can be picky in that sense. I think it's human right. I mean, no one likes someone that doesn't talk at all. I mean, if people like that, then they'd just be friends with walls and pillows. They'd, the whole point of being with another person is that you can talk to them, but if they talk too much, then it's just like, oh my god, shut up, no one actually wants to listen to your opinions, you know? It can be really frustrating when people do that. Unless they have really interesting things to say all the time, which some people don't. Do heaps of people think that he's this charming, nice... I can't even finish the, I can't even finish the sentence. That's how much it doesn't make sense to me. Seriously, Ben? Uh-huh. Nope. Yuck. I can't even... I, I literally can't think about that with, without making a face. He's not hot. Sure. When I was like 14 and I first met him, it was cool, like we got on well, like we both like banter and talking and discussing and debating and so it was cool to have someone to bounce ideas off, but like whatever, okay, he's a dick. I thought that maybe something would happen, but he was just all like, oh, I live in the now and I don't commit to anything and I'm just not interested and girls are dumb and so whatever, you know, fine, I hate him. That was my reaction, and it was not an overreaction. It was completely justified because he was a dick about it. And he can't just go and change his mind now. That's not fair. That's not the way that life works. You can't be hypocritical. Me, Beatrice, I accept my mistakes. I'm fine with admitting that I'm wrong, but he doesn't. So, whatever. Been a dick. This is weird. I don't know how to react to it. I'm angry. And I... I don't like Ben.